The tool is called the OODA loop, O-O-D-A. The OODA loop stands for this, observe, orient, decide, and act. It has to do with a uh, gentleman who was a fighter jock from my uh, uh, past, if you will, in the Air Force. His name was Colonel John Boyd. And uh, uh, he was somebody who was very good in a rapidly changing environment in the fighter community. And he actually came up with a tool that uh, is used by a lot of uh, uh, pilots in, in that environment now. And it can be very handy when you're working with a rapidly changing environment. And it's a circle that you can use. When you get to the act, you then have to observe again. And our course goes into a little bit more on that, but I just want to leave you with this one aspect. Decisions, when you're talking about a changing environment, have to be made very quick. You have to observe things. You have to orient things, which can be the most challenging part of it. And then decide and act and see how that results. Give you one quick example. I was the uh, site manager and the uh, contract representative for a DOD contract out of Griffiths Air Force Base in Rome, New York. And uh, I had a really good team working for me and that reported to me. They were uh, coming up with an idea of how to fix something. And I was there, I was standing there. I could tell they were going to a really good place and they were using some really good creative thoughts. And so for me, I stayed out of it and just observed where they went to make sure that I interjected a question if I needed to at a key point in time. And it was interesting that one of the pilots, I remember he sat down with a pen and a pad and he goes, he looked at me, he goes, you know what, we're the tip of the spear. And he sat down just proud and they were very motivated because they were able to come up with a creative situation. Now, was I in the loop? Yep. I was observing the whole thing. But because I saw where they were going, I realized it was a good time for the leader to just be in the vicinity, ask some questions, but let them run. And I did that. Why does it matter? Every person you lead has a why it matters. Every person you report to has a why it matters. The challenge is that whenever in us individuals, whenever this why it matter begins to feel threatened, a lot of times dysfunctional behaviors can arise. When you find your why it matters, I'm here to tell you the world needs that.